Goedemorgen. It's 9 o'clock now. I did some household chores and now I'm eating my breakfast. I'm having some leftovers from yesterday. I love to eat warm food in the morning. I love Italian food and Asian food the most. So a pasta or a rice dish as a breakfast. I really like it. I grew up with having dinner at 12 o'clock. In our lunch break from school we would come home and my mom had made a warm meal and then in the evening we would eat sandwiches or something like that. For breakfast and lunch in the Netherlands Dutch people mostly have bread. Sandwiches are very typical. I personally do not thrive well on bread. So I'm just now having my rice meal in the morning. When I was in Japan, I would eat rice every morning. Hostels and hotels would give you options. Do you want a European breakfast or do you want a Japanese breakfast? And I would always go for the Japanese breakfast. Okay guys, flea market time. I'm finally, finally, finally at the flea market. I got lost. I'll tell you guys about that later. First flea market. Guys, I'm having the time of my life. I'm in a flea market that's in an old church. They have a whole set of these plates here and they have the plates. Big ones, small ones, tiny ones, and then there's bowls in three different sizes. But they also have the cups over there. And I think this is absolutely freaking gorgeous, but I can't take it home. There's no way I can take this home. I'm back from the flea market and I went to the fruit and vegetable market. Ah, I'm a little bit tired, can you tell? <laughs> okay, I went to the flea market, to three thrift shops and to the fruit and vegetable market. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I got lost. It was pretty bad. I do have an iPhone, but I do not have internet. I just have a prepaid card that I charge with 30 euros a year maybe. But I can't use any internet on my phone if there's no Wi-Fi. So I made a screenshot of the route that I had to walk from the tram to the flea market. But then I discovered a tram stop at a temporary stop. And for that, I did not have a route. So I had no idea where I had to go. And I started asking people, do you guys know where I need to go? Nobody knew. I asked five or six people before I was like, I am gonna call Jurian. He needs to log on to Google Maps and help me out. Jurian didn't pick up his phone. And I only had a very tiny screenshot of the route from the tram to the flea market. So no streets around it. But I did see it in the corner that there was a coffee shop, which in the Netherlands is where you buy your legal weed and hash. So I started to look for people that I thought might have once bought something there. And I started asking them, do you know where a coffee shop this and this is? And then finally I found someone that was like, Oh, the coffee shop. Yeah, sure, that's that direction. You have to walk for like 10 minutes. And whilst walking there, I bumped into a thrift store that I went into and I bought a few nice things. I've been getting really lucky lately. Then Jurin called me back and he gave me the exact route on how to get to the flea market. So that way I found the flea market. And it's close to my favorite food market here. I went to the food market and I bought a bunch of food. And I'm gonna show you guys what I bought because last time I got a lot of good replies to showing all the fruit from the vet fruit. Blah, 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 blah. I am a bit tired. <laughs> I start talking like this when I'm tired. Yeah, last time you guys gave a lot of good reply to me showing all the fruits and vegetables from the market, so I'm gonna do that again. But this is everything I bought. It's not as much as last time, but keep in mind, <laughs> I was on my own this time and I had to carry it all home. Uh, I'll start on this side. I had this bag full of tomatoes for one euro. Cilantro and mint, all three together, was one euro, and I love fresh cilantro. It's just the best. And mint I'm gonna use for mint tea. Then I got all this aubergine for 50 cents. It's because it was cut up. I think these broke or the bad bits were cut off or something, but I got all of that for 50 cents, which is nothing. And then dragon fruit. I am so excited for these. I will show you guys in a bit. I'll cut open one so you can see what it looks like on the inside, but they are so great. One of my favorite fruits. I'm gonna have a big mono meal of these in a bit. And normally at the market, when I find them for one euro a piece, I am happy. And then I buy one or two to treat myself. You don't want to buy this at the supermarket. It's going to be very expensive at the supermarket. All of this was three euros. All of these. So cool. I got 12 of them just for three bucks. Normally 
I think they're three bucks a piece in the supermarket, at least. Two broccolis for one euro, so 50 cents each. Then a bag of spinach for one euro. I got the eight small avocados for two euros and the three big ones for one euro. And these are more soft, so these I can eat right away. And these are a little bit harder, so these I can eat in a week or so, I think. Aren't these the cutest? I think they're really nice. I love, 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 love avocado. Then I got two mangoes. These were 50 cents each. This one is nice and hard, so I can eat that later on. And this one is soft, so I can eat that right away. And that's also one of my tricks for reducing food waste. I bought a few things that need to be eaten as soon as possible. I bought some things that are not too ripe and I bought some things that aren't ripe at all. So that way you have fruit and vegetables during the whole week. Then I got the most beautiful aubergines. These are gorgeous. Seriously, look at how beautiful these are. Maybe I'm a weird hippie, but I can enjoy nature so much. This is really stunning and they're really smooth. And these all together were just one euro. So one euro for all of these. Three gorgettes. These were one euro for the three of them. So a really nice buy as well. Then I got two, what's this called again? I don't remember. Cauliflower. Because in the supermarket that's next door, they're 180 a piece. And now we're, they were just 50 cents a piece, so I had to have them. And then in the back I got three fresh coconuts. So these are baby coconuts. And maybe you can hear this? But they are full of water. They're full of fresh coconut water. So I got a good deal again and I'm really happy with everything I got. And the reason I got so much aubergine is I thought I had enough when I bought this. But then I needed to have these because these were just so great. So with all of that I'm going to make another aubergine hot pot. And with this I'm not sure yet. Such a foodie. Food gets me excited like nothing else guys. This is what the dragon fruit looks like when you cut it open. They're also really fun to peel. Really easy. Just like that. Ta-da! There we are. This is all I'm gonna eat. Look who's here! It's Leslie Ann. No, it's Jiren, my favorite person. I'm here as well, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's do it again. I'm like, here! Yay! I'm home! Well done. See, is it better? Yes. Well done. <laughs> I just showered, which may explain my face and hair. But I'm gonna show you in the new living room situation. What's room. the new living room situation? Well, you're gonna see. I like it. Yay! He likes it! Can we charge our phones when we have breakfast and dinner? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, perfect. That's very important because someone's always watching YouTube when she's having breakfast. <laughs> so then. Not sometimes. Sometimes. Always. Not always. always. Here and I just shared a bag of crisps and we both ate two cookies. No, I only had one. <laughs> okay, apparently Jurian only had one cookie, but I had two. So we decided it was about time to start cooking, otherwise we're going to eat all the junk food. I normally never do that. I normally never eat junk food before dinner. If I'm hungry, I just make food, like real food, and then maybe I'll eat a snack afterwards. But now we get half a bag of crisps each. And... So we're going to cook. <laughs> I'm making the same dish as yesterday. It was just so good. Mm -mm, Cookie-wise, we put them in a little uh, Tupperware box. These cookies are so good and they're vegan. They're really good. I don't know if you can get them anywhere else but the Netherlands, but the Robuste Kuka from this brand, so good. They're so good. Recommend. I'm recommending you guys all this unhealthy food. I'm sorry, but it's nice. We're cooking together. Jiren is doing the onions so that I don't have to cry. <laughs> Just to give you guys like a little impression of what it is to do chores or cook or stuff like that with Jiren. What I asked was, could you please help me? I asked Jiren to cut up a whole zucchini. This is what he does. I cut up all of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're so helpful. It's amazing. What am I supposed to do with this guy? It's a tofu hot pot with aubergine. It's kind of spicy. It's nice. What? <laughs> Hi and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making food. I am the chef. 
And I'm the cameraman. That was just a preview of where the food is going to end up. <laughs> Make sure to snack on healthy food whilst cooking. Like not cookies and not crisps. Goedemorgen, today is Saturday and I'm starting off today by making myself a juice. Don't know what my hair is doing. Stuff. I'm having two apples and two big chunks of ginger right here. I have this whole Tupperware full of carrots and then I have a box of blue grapes and that's gonna be my morning juice. Here you made a very Dutch lunch. Maybe I should cut it on the cutting board. I think that's a good idea. Eight sandwiches. We're in Ikea! At Ikea, the vegetarian meatballs are vegan. First thing I'm buying a new pan because I screwed mine up by scratching it and this one's just 8 euros. We have a full cart guys. We have a full cart. We're buying a lot of stuff, but everything is planned for. I'm making important decisions and I just can't decide. Which of these four beddings am I gonna choose? What? My mom thinks this one. I bought a new family member. Let me introduce you to my new plant. Yeah! Green on top, purple at the bottom. So one of the things we bought at Ikea were five of these and we're gonna make a little DIY bookcase kind of thing. On this wall and I got my superwoman with me because I couldn't do this on my own for the life of me. She's gonna help hang everything. I'm already in bed. My mom left two hours ago. We had a really fun day. It's always nice to be with my mom. She's honestly my best friend. But we went to Ikea and then came home to hang up my little bookshelves. <laughs> we failed miserably. Uh, the power drill we had wasn't powerful enough. So next week we're gonna try again. She's gonna come over again and we're gonna see if we can hang the bookshelves. I did buy quite some things at Ikea. Maybe I should do a little haul or just show you guys tomorrow. I'll, I'll think I'll show you guys tomorrow. I did get some nice stuff that I'm quite happy with. Goedemorgen, today is Sunday. I just had my breakfast and I thought I'd sit down and show you guys everything. I bought at Ikea, but let me first get my camera straight because this shot is crooked. Oop. Is that better? Kind of. Good enough. <laughs> I just got the receipt, but it's abracadabra to me. Calathea. Konix. Imen. I don't know what that all is. First thing I got is a new pan. If I could only have one pot or pan to cook with, it would be one of these because you can stir fry in them. It's just really good for anything really. I think I paid eight euros, seven or eight euros for this one. Good one. The reason I'm not doing a separate haul is because it's, then there's just gonna be a lot of shop logs on my channel and shop logs are fun, but I really wanna try and make more videos about veganism and talk about issues like sexuality, like bullying, like body confidence. Cause that and veganism was what I originally planned my channel for. And now I found that I really love sharing my life and that you guys adore the shop logs. But since there's already a shop log, I still need to edit. I didn't wanna put up another one. So that's why I'm not making a separate one, but I'm just adding it into the vlog. So you guys are still getting this shop log. So yeah, a pan, a pan, a pot, a pan, a pot, a pot. Another kitchen thing, and this is kind of boring in a way, but this is a garlic press. I got this one and I think it was $2.99. Another thing for the kitchen, this is uh, the Imeln. Imeln. You can tell my Swedish is on point. This was $6.99. It has two suction things, thingy wingies. English is on point as well. Everything is on point today. And you can hang this wherever you want. I wanted to hang it in the kitchen to put my soap and washing detergent and dish brush in. I think that will look nice. The thing I originally went to Ikea for and yesterday you saw our bookshelf fail are bookshelves. I got five of these and also 10 of these little plastic stands that will go underneath so you can hang it up on your wall. Looks like I'm gonna slap someone. <laughs> loser, loser. Um, but my mom's gonna help me out next week. Hopefully we can find the right appliances then. These are just 1.99. And these one are just 40 cents a piece. 
And then I got boxes. This is so incredibly cute. I really, really like this. I'm all into organizing, as you guys have noticed lately in the vlogs. And this is going to be great for organizing. I want to start off with this one, with this brown and black box. On the inside there are a lot of spa small spaces you can put your stuff in. You can even remove some of these so that you have bigger spaces for your stuff. And the organizer inside of me just needed to have this. If you can store everything away in a nice box, it looks so much less cluttered. This one was... Finally found it. <laughs> I've been looking at this receipt for three minutes. This one was $1.99, it was on sale. And then this is what I was actually looking for and I got four of these. Here are the other three, I haven't put them together yet. And these are also on sale, these were just $1.79 a box. And the design is really adorable. And then I also got three of these. Also nice for organizing. Now I have enough stuff for organizing. That's really loud. So three of these cutest print and these were 79 cents a piece okay so i can organize my heart out in the future because i also got this this is the scoop set these are little cubes uh, let me open this up you can fold them and make them really small but then when you unfold them and do up the zipper you have a nice and sturdy box it comes with two big ones two medium ones and two small ones those were 5.99 last thing i'm gonna show you is my favorite thing it's a new family member i'm so happy this is a beautiful plant it is green on top and purple at the bottom the leaves are so incredibly soft i can't pronounce the name of this plant but i will show it to you guys That's it. You guys all know that I'm a plant enthusiast and I will keep collecting them. I will never stop. And then now let's uh, unbox this beauty. <laughs> I should call this video plant unboxing. This is it. How awesome. Uh, this was $8.99 by the way. Now it's purple. Now it's green. It's really nice. There is a lot of stuff that you can find secondhand. I always try and shop secondhand first before I go to any other stores. Like for example, Ikea. It's cheap, it's sustainable, I love it. But sometimes you just can't find what you're looking for. And then I go to shops like Ikea, for example. I just wanted to have said that because I really, really want to promote the idea of recycling and secondhand things. I'm not really sure of what I'm wearing today. Oh, and what I'm wearing today, and yeah, the bed is not made but this it's real life i don't know it's real life i do not make the bed normally and i'm not gonna start making my bed just because i'm vlogging and people are gonna see but i wanted to show you the dress i'm wearing it's really pretty the sleeves for example are super gorgeous then the neck also super gorgeous it's a gorgeous dress but i feel like it's maybe a little bit too conservative for me what do you guys think there are a few really fashionable people following me. Guys, I've seen your Instagrams. I feel like I would love this dress if I would just cut the sleeves off like that because then it just shows a little bit more skin. Or I can cut the dress a little shorter. But that could also mean that I will screw up the dress and I will never be able to wear it again or anyone else. And then I feel like maybe I should just donate it. I made a mess of the living room. <laughs> this is what I did. Showing when I showed you guys everything I bought at IKEA. And I've been working on my editing program. It's reinstalling now, so in a bit I can start editing, finally. I'm making myself a super easy and healthy snack. I'm making kale chips. I have a bunch of kale here. And what you want to do is you want to rub it in with some olive oil and some salt. And after that your kale becomes a lot greener and glossier and then it just goes into the oven. <laughs> and... I kind of don't remember how hot it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna go for 150 and then I'm gonna put it in for 15 minutes and then see what happens and then 
Just regularly check on it. But when they're done, I'll let you guys know how long they need it in the end. And I'm turning on my timer because otherwise I will forget. My kale crisps are done. I got a big bowl of them right here. And they ended up going into the oven for 25 minutes on 150. I decided to change clothes because all of a sudden it got really cold. I'm wearing my biggest, most comfortable sweater. It's, it's a dress actually. It's a huge sweater dress. It's nice and warm and I'm having a cup of tea as well. I'm not ready for winter. I'm not ready for autumn yet. Not ready at all. Best thing about autumn for me is my birthday. <laughs> that I like, my birthday. Nah, that's not true. There's nice things about autumn for sure. I love autumn colors, browns and yellows. Nature is so beautiful in autumn going to the forest. Halloween is here, that's great. But I never look forward to how cold it is. And my house is really old. My house gets very cold. I have one fireplace, this one, to heat up the whole house. And my apartment is pretty big. I'm not complaining about that, but this one can't heat up the old apartment. It just can't. It is 11.30 now. The vlog is finally uploaded. It was really fun to edit though. I had a good time, but it took me so long. A lot longer than I expected. I feel I have a lot more stuff to talk about, but I think I'm gonna save that for next week's vlog. It's still a mess. I didn't clean up after my IKEA shop vlog. Thank you, sweeters, so much for watching. I really hope to see you around for the next one. The next one will be on Thursday. Oh no, when I upload this, the next one will be Tuesday. It'll be the first October extra video. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Hope you guys are excited too. Take care guys, have a good day and I'll see you around soon. Bye.